It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. David L. Coppola, the 10th president of Keystone College. All right, sit down, please. All right, we're going to stay a while. I'm <laughs> glad you're here. <laughs> What a wonderful day to celebrate 144 years of graduates finishing their time at Keystone College and stepping out into the world to make a positive difference. We got a full house. This is uh, twice as many people as came last year. So uh, graduates, you have a lot of people supporting you and rooting for you. Parents and grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, friends, neighbors, and companions, thank you for supporting these graduates in their quest to attend Keystone College and graduate and move into the world to make a positive contribution. The sacrifices you have made both emotionally and financially will have a long-lasting and positive effect for the next hundred years on your families and communities. In particular, parents, when you let your sons and daughters go, when you let them come to Keystone, you gave them a chance at a life now full of possibilities. You trusted us, and now we see the marvelous transformation before us today. And I'll tell you, it looks great from where I'm standing. It looks great. And students, Thank you. Thank you for trusting in the Keystone Promise and selecting us. Thank you for choosing to persevere when others left. Thank you for giving your best, even when you weren't sure what your best was or which direction you wanted to go. And thank you for making this college, your college, a bright beacon of progress through effort, our motto. You believed in us. You belonged to a thoughtful community, and you've been transformed into young adults full of promise and promises kept. In the mid-1980s, uh, a musical debuted on Broadway based on the novel Les Miserables by the French poet and novelist Victor Hugo, and one of the duets sung by the love-struck characters Mariette and Cosette is called In My Life where the lyrics proclaim a heart full of love, a heart full of song. And the dialogue continues, I don't know what to say. Then make no sound. I am lost. I am found. So today, I, uh, I invite you to be full of it. Yeah, to be full of it. A liberal arts and sciences education, a Keystone College education, is for hearts full of life, enabling people not merely to know, but to learn how to learn and learn how to live meaningful lives. Such an education leads us to certain convictions that it's better to live a generous life. It's better to live an examined life. It's better to live an independent, interdependent life. It's better to live a caring life a virtuous life, rather than one that is selfish or thoughtless or careless or greedy. So today is a day of fullness, and the appropriate words to describe this day are wonderful, grateful, careful, thoughtful, hopeful, mindful, and grateful again. This last word, grateful, may I suggest that you make a special effort today graduates, to show your gratefulness, your fullest gratitude to your parents, your families, friends, teachers, and all those who made this day possible. And remember, no matter where you go, no matter how grown up you are, always call home. Your mother worries. <laughs> that was sort of a joke. Maybe not. I don't know, it's for me. Today, we have hearts full of love and we are hopeful that you will have a heart that is willing to learn 
is open to surprise, thinks critically, forgives quickly, and is unafraid to wrestle with impasse. If along the way you or we have been careless or thoughtless, or we have let you down or dropped the ball, then let us know so that we can try to make it right. It's never too late to repair a wrong. It's never too late to reconcile, to choose wholeness and fullness. Only about one-third of young adults in our country receive a bachelor's degree. And you will soon see that it was well worth the effort, the time, and the money. The unemployment rate among college graduates between the ages of 25 and 34 is barely 2%. The pay gap between college graduates and everyone else is near a record high, and over a lifetime will cover many times over your student debt if you have some. You are ready now to take on new challenges because you have already proven yourself when confronted with challenges at college, and you have succeeded. And so the wheel of life now comes full circle where so much time and energy has been invested and happily given to you, graduates, so that you can go forth and live life to the fullest. So wherever you go, know that you are full of it. That's right. You're full of it. You are full of the Keystone spirit. You're full of a Keystone heart, full of love, full of song, full of life. Come back to visit soon. Thank you.